I'm calling for my father-in-law, Sucha Singh Dillon. For some people, being a caregiver is in their nature. It's something they love to do. But even for them, the stress of caregiving can take its toll. Hi, I'm Dr. Yvette Liu. Today, we're in New Westminster, British Columbia, where I'm meeting with Ruby, who cares for her father-in-law, Sucha. Ruby loves to care for people, but even so, it can sometimes leave her emotionally and physically drained. We're going to learn more about Ruby's challenges and seek out advice from both within and beyond traditional healthcare fields to find practical solutions for our caregivers and the people they care for. Welcome to House Call. Ruby, do you care for your father-in-law? Yes, he lives with me. Before he was pretty independent, yeah. um, but now I guess he's 93, so yeah. just want to make sure all the precautions are taken so that he is healthy and safe. So how has it been emotionally? Um, like my husband, he passed away in 2006, same six months before my mother-in-law passed away. So for me, it took almost four years to grieve the process, it's still there. For him, then he was okay for four or five years, but now lately, yeah, he gets sad sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. And how do you deal with that when it happens? I guess I have to be strong for him. Yeah. So it sounds like he really relies on you. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, it doesn't matter how tired I am. It's, I just feel, it just comes naturally that I want to make sure he's okay. Yeah. Now, how has caregiving affected your physical health? I know you had some injuries. Actually, yes. I had a big accident in uh, 2014. My car flipped, mm -hmm. skid, so that's when my arm got dragged. I still have glass in my arm. Mm -hmm. It's in the wrist, so I'm on painkillers myself. So. What does your doctor tell you to do for your arm to uh, maintain your fitness? They can't. I can't go physio. No. Because there's still a little bit class in here. Mm -hmm. So it's just a day, day to day living, you know, mm -hmm. exercise and whatever the best I can do. Mm -hmm. Is so. it hard to find time to, to exercise? It is. That's the tough part, right? Trying to find the balance. That's the thing. Balance between caring for this person who completely yes. depends on you yeah. and also caring for yourself. Because if you don't have your own health, yeah. then you won't be able to care for the other yeah. person. It went in my mind that if I keep on carrying on like this, yeah. who's going to take care of him? Ruby has devoted her life to taking care of others, but no matter how much caregiving is in someone's nature, it's important for them to treasure and care for themselves as well. We know that Ruby loves the outdoors, so we found a beautiful park near her home in Delta, British Columbia, called the Burns Bog Nature Reserve. So how old is your oldest son? He's 35. 35, okay. We've also invited Amy, who has a background in physiotherapy and kinesiology, to join Ruby on her walk and show her some simple exercises that she can do to help improve her physical fitness. So I've heard that you're getting back into yourself. Uh, yes, I'm trying to, yes. Good. That's great that you're starting that initiative. Thank you. The biggest focus is starting simple mm -hmm. and doing things that are accessible to you and going out, anybody can find a park to go into and go for a walk. And then you can take a stop and rest at a bench or anywhere and then start with some stretching. Mm -hmm. This is probably the right height. Uh -huh. So set it up and then when you push your leg down, you're gonna feel that stretch right behind your hamstring, right? Mm -hmm. Got it? So stretching should be uncomfortable, never mm -hmm. painful. And it's working on your balance at the same mm -hmm. time, right? I never knew about this wonderful place Lot of trees, lot of trees. So Ruby, the next one we can do is when you find a bench, mm -hmm. we're gonna get our leg, any leg you can start with, ankle over knee, and then you can push down. Good. Okay. This one's stretching more your hip okay. and your bum. And then we can always switch and then do the other side. And cross. Somehow I find uh, nature gives me peace within inside myself. Spending time in nature has been shown to boost the immune system, improve stress, reduce anxiety, and even help with sleep. So Ruby, the next one we're gonna do is once you're walking for about 30 minutes and you have a good, good warm up, um, we're gonna do something that's gonna strengthen a few of your leg and bum muscles. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna tie this around your ankles. 
Okay, I'm gonna get you to put your legs shoulder width apart. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna start with forward. Excellent, and hold one, two, three, and back. Excellent. And you're gonna go outwards, which is abduction. Keep your feet turned this way, good. Hold it, one, mm -hmm. two, three, and in. And then we're gonna do extension, going backwards. But I one, wish I can do this every two. day. Just to have something like my own time and be in your own thoughts and looking after yourself. We're gonna work the bicep mm -hmm. muscle. Keep mm -hmm. your shoulders stable, just mm -hmm. this elbow. One, two, three, and back down. And you can do eight to 12 reps and two to three sets. And the last one we're gonna do is we're gonna move away from the tree just a little bit. And so we're gonna have feet shoulder width apart. You're gonna come down. It was really great today. Like you're very close to the nature. And then along with that, having uh, getting the knowledge of stretching exercise, I feel that uh, I have accomplished a good goal today. And down. One, two, three, and up. Excellent. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> it was a wonderful experience. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to be a part of that. Ruby's devotion to caregiving is a primary focus in her life. She truly loves it, but it's affecting her health, both physically and mentally. I hope that by connecting to nature and practicing some simple exercises today, that we've given her some tools that will help her find a healthier balance between caring for others and caring for herself. Do you use nature to improve your health? Tell us about it by sending us a message or posting a comment and share this video with someone who would benefit from more nature in their life and to raise awareness about caregiving. From Delta BC, I'm Dr. Yvette Liu. See you next time.